it's Abby from The Art of Education. Today I'm going to share some of my favorite tools when working with adaptive art classes. One of my favorite things to use with students is I like to stamp with them. And some a, a tool that you can use that all of you certainly have and your students can even collect them for you are using toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls for stamping. One of the best ways to do that, you can create a lot of different shapes with them. You can use the simple circle shape to create and add texture. You can also change the shape like I've done here just by folding it and creating a little heart shape. As you can see here, it will create a nice addition to any project that you might need. You can also use those toilet paper rolls to cut different shapes and different patterns to create some more stamping. Another way to stamp that I like to use is I actually like to use plastic forks. When you use a plastic fork, you're able to create some different designs and some different elements. Here's a really nice way that we were able to use the plastic fork to stamp to create some nice flowers. Another way that I like to use stamping is by simply using a piece of cardboard. Students are really, they work really well with these because they're able to hold them, they're larger for them to use, and they're going to be able to make straight lines. Using a technique like this is really great when you want your students to make something with straight lines, something similar to trees. Another really good tool that I like to use is I like to utilize more texture tools. So to do that, you can see that this piece of paper here has lots of different textures and stamps on it. There's two tools that I like to use for doing that. The first one is by simply putting the paint on the paper, having the students paint the surface first, and then simply using a fork once again, or one of these tools to scrape with. That way it will create a nice texture in your student's piece. Another texture tool that I like to use is I like to use big brushes to stamp with and that creates an added texture to any piece of artwork. I have a lot of these brushes that kind of have these funny ends on them and they're great for my students that have a hard time with their fine motor skills. So simply dip and it can create some interesting type textures over any surface. The last tool that I always use with my adapted art students are stencils. Because fine motor skills are often something that they really, really struggle with, creating stencils that they can simply trace around will help their hand-eye coordination as well as achieve the shape that they might want. For more art ed tips and tricks like these, don't forget to visit theartofed.com.